Welcome everybody. My name is Danny from RuneGate Studio. I just wanted to make a quick video uh, talking about something that I thought was pretty crazy when I first found out about it. Today I want to talk real quick about something called Aperture. How does it really work? How does it affect the photos and the videos we take? Let's find out. Most of you guys probably already know, Aperture are these fun little blades inside our lenses that go in and out and they let more or less light into your lens and they're also what gives us that nice creamy bokeh on our photos and videos. As an example, I'm using this nice old Nikkor uh, glass from the 60s, I believe. I'm using it as an example because it's got this nice big aperture. It goes down to a 1.4. That means the aperture blades go nice and wide and they let in a ton of light into the lens and they'll also prove for a very shallow depth of field. So the background will be way blurred out. Essentially how you can think about it, your lens is attached to your camera body is focusing light down into a point. And wherever that point meets, that is going to be what is in focus. Imagine you have two beams of light coming into your lens. The lens's job is to narrow those beams down so that they connect at some point, and that point is going to be your focal point. If the intersection of these lines is our focus point, then our image will become more and more out of focus and blurry the farther the lines get apart from each other. So the farther the distance or the closer the distance, depending on where your focus point lands. If we were to open up this lens all the way to a 1.4, you'll see that our intersecting lines are only in contact with each other for a very short time, making for that pinpoint focus and having our background and foreground totally blown out. And of course this goes the other way as well. If we were to crank this lens all the way down to an F16, where that hole is very small, our lines are gonna be uh, intersecting for a much longer period of time which is going to cause for that much deeper depth of field and the lines never get too far apart uh, which makes it so we don't have that blown out background that bokeh look that we uh, all love so much if you did find this video helpful drop a like hit up that comment section if you have any other questions or comments subscribe to RuneGate studio for weekly content and if you guys like this type of video and like to see some other stuff let me know and i might be able to put some other stuff together for you